I've been sober just under five years from Adderall, Xanax, and alcohol. I feel very proud of myself. My addiction began in 2010. I was always running out of pills before my prescription date was up. I would buy Adderall from friends. I would contact drug dealers if I needed to buy more. Xanax, I was in denial that I had an issue. I was really excited to move to LA in 2012 and work for Dr. Phil. On the outside, it seemed like I had it all. On the inside, I was a complete mess. Everything came crashing down in 2015 when I had to leave Dr. Phil. I had taken too much Adderall. I started to freak out. I couldn't feel my legs at a point, and I was taken to the hospital. I was very ashamed, I was embarrassed. Surprisingly, that incident was not a wake-up call. Um, a friend shared her own experience in sobriety. I had a light bulb moment and realized I needed to go to treatment. Because of the show and Dr. Phil, my health insurance paid for treatment. Since I went to treatment in May 2016, I have never drank or taken a pill. In 2020, I got my second chance to work for Dr. Phil as an associate producer. I worked on the first episode with Joe Lynn and Keith. I found the experience so rewarding because Joe Lynn accepted Dr. Phil's help and is now doing so well. It resonates with me because Dr. Phil helped me as well. Well, Lindy, I was just saying to you, you're come in full circle, you're seeing things from this point of view now, from being on stage, right? Absolutely, I, I have a even higher respect for what you do and what our guests go through to be on the show. I'm, I'm not used to being on this side of the camera, so yeah. a little nerve wracking, but exactly. thank, thank you so much for having me. Well, um, your question that you had for me, and I've got it verbatim, is how I deal with the shame and embarrassment I feel from leaving the show the way I did? How do I learn not to beat myself up so hard and show myself compassion? And I'm gonna answer that question, but then you found the courage to take the biggest risk that people ever take. The number one fear is rejection. Sure. Number one fear we face is rejection. And you took the risk of coming back and asking for your job back when you left in the worst circumstance you could imagine. Where did you find the courage to do that? I felt safe here and I loved helping people. Um, and I loved the staff here and my friends were here. So there were so many positive things about my experience here outside of being sick that those meant more to me than to, to not ask and to sit back and, and lose out on a possible opportunity to be back at a place that I loved so much. So I took a risk. Were you surprised when we said, yeah, yeah, we want you to come back? Yes, I was surprised. I was definitely surprised and so grateful and excited, but also afraid to walk back in the door. As you know from being here, you've always heard me say family first. Yes. And, you know, we don't turn our back on people that have a problem. And so we were grateful that you came back. Thank you. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.